The seven levels of cosmic civilization, how terrifying are they really? This video may make you question your existence. The seventh level of civilization, also known as a prime civilization, has the ability to fully exploit and utilize the resources on their own planet, as well as harness passive energy from nearby stars, enabling interstellar travel and planetary communication, making interstellar trade and space exploration possible. They can also harness the energy of volcanic eruptions to control weather, earthquakes, and natural disasters, and even build cities on the ocean. Unfortunately, humanity is currently only at a 0.73 level of civilization, and it would take tens of thousands of years to reach the first level of civilization. A second level civilization can harness the resources of an entire stellar system and manipulate powerful Dyson spheres, a giant hypothetical structure proposed by physicist Dyson, primarily built around stars to capture their immense energy. By controlling the energy output of stars, they can even create gravity and black holes, achieving the pinnacle of energy utilization. A third level civilization has the ability to colonize an entire stellar system, easily building colonies and infrastructure on planets and moons, and even cultivating servile species. They can also manipulate the orbits of planets and create their own stellar systems. Such a civilization is incredibly formidable and appears godlike to humans, but it still seems relatively primitive compared to a fourth level civilization. A fourth-level civilization can directly control the entire galaxy, building Dyson spheres around hundreds of billions of stars, easily manipulating gravity and electromagnetic fields, and even achieving near-light-speed travel. They have the ability to traverse the galaxy in a short time, and if necessary, can drain the energy of every star system to meet their expansion needs, or recreate new stellar systems like setting up stage props. They understand the top laws of the universe, and their existence demonstrates the immense potential and endless mysteries of the cosmos. A fifth-level civilization can achieve superluminal interstellar travel, create unique life forms at will, freely use energy from the universe, erase entire supergalaxies, control all hidden dimensions, transport any planet from one universe to another parallel universe, and even travel back in time, all of which are effortless for them. A sixth-level civilization exists beyond time and space, capable of creating and destroying universes at will. The life forms of this civilization have developed to the point where energy and matter can be overlaid, achieving true immortality in a sense. They are the enforcers of the laws of the entire universe and are truly deserving of the title of gods among all civilizations. A seventh level civilization has achieved complete immortality, you can think of them as the lords of nothingness, their life forms no longer have form, they are embedded in the universe like nothingness itself. They are the creators of all civilizations and the makers of all natural laws, from time to space, from macro to micro, everything they create. They can intervene in all dimensions of the universe, every source particle of every individual, if they want to create a universe, they can do so with a wave of their hand. They are the masters of all civilizations and are truly deserving of the title of lords of the universe. However, the hierarchy of cosmic civilizations is just a hypothesis proposed by Soviet scientist Kardashev in 1964, and there is currently not enough theoretical evidence. So, are you a believer in the existence of higher civilizations?